Okay, first rule. This family needs to learn the value of a dollar. Yeah. So your dad and I are going to collect some of the things in the house, and we are going to see if you have any idea what that item costs. I do know the value of a dollar. There are things that we have that are dollars that we bought. There is a new farmer in town. John, I understand that there is a lot of commitment that you have for the farm, but your lifestyle does not allow you to have as clean of a house. When I first entered the house, and I actually had to kill a roach on the floor. New rule is we need to clean the house. It's really kind of unfair to, to say that, hey, your house isn't clean when we got a tribe of children and we got a mess at the farm. We're doing the best that we can. This next role is for Toussaint. OK. I believe that it's important to give back to the community because it gives her purpose. So we're going to figure out how to help Carla start a charity of her own. This will allow her to have a real purpose throughout the day. I think that'll be good. Super excited about yeah. that. Yeah. New rule, John. I feel as if along the way, we put priority on the farm. However, sometimes we can lose focus at what's home. And so I'd like for you to come home and help out with bedtime, story time, and so that can be a positive effect on the kids. I love my kids, but the farm is demanding. You know, the farm is demanding of our time, and we try to do as much as we can as a family here in the farm. Bringing her rules is not going to work. Next rule. We are going to learn about something that really matters. Sustainability. <laughs> Being able to grow our own food and where it came from. I'm going to show you how to grow a small garden, and then we're going to have a rabbit stew. Rabbit stew. <laughs> is it like an actual rabbit? It that's is in an actual <laughs> rabbit from our farm. In the stew. In the stew. Everyone needs to have at least one bite. If you want my bite, you can have it. No, Dad, you're going to eat it, too. The trash gets right here. It's time to say to take the trash out. I'm excited about today. I'm going to show the kids how to clean. If you want to be successful in life, appearance is super important. When we come home every day, this is what I want you to do. Come in. You got a basket right here. And I want these all to go in this basket. Carla may have those expectations to do it in her house, but she doesn't see that. I'm constantly worried about other things, not clean up the house. Hey, can you take those and put it in that basket right there? <gasps> awesome! So guess what? When it's time to leave, you come back to your basket, and therefore, you haven't taken all the shoes through the house. I think I'm probably the one that uh, would be the uh, We can get you your own problem. crate, too. That can be the kids, and we'll put your crate here. I want you to take all the whites. Uh, look at you. Hey, that's awesome. I don't appreciate Carla and her criticism. It's easy to say, hey, make your house clean, but she doesn't have the same demands in her house that we have in our house. So I brought the laundry out, and I let them sort them in the colors, because they know their colors. Gotcha. I don't get how you live the dirty way that you live in your house. You're setting a bad example. You're telling your children that this is OK. But you have four kids that you've brought into this world, and it is your job as parents to show those kids how to be clean. All right, I bought some seedlings for you guys. We have vegetables. There's soil here. And we got you a little raised bed to start out with. Uh, so read the directions and see if you can put it together. Man. I, I'm excited. I'm excited I about this, like, building this garden. Stop. And I feel like it's going to impact on our, like, on our vegetables that we don't eat. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually transplant it into the box. That's what the soil's for. Here, I've got, I've got gloves right here from are the grill. Are those your grilling gloves? Yeah. They're going to get them all dirty. Come on, get in there. Oh, you got a cup. OK. I hope that building the planter will show this family how their food got on their plate. Oh, so now you got cups. Why don't you want to put your hands in it? Why not use a cup? <laughs> Why not put your hands in it? <laughs> don't need to put my hands in it. It is very funny seeing my dad helping us put the garden because together. He because he hates getting dirty. <laughs> I'm going to put it all over your head. He, he, does, he not does not like it. it. You're going to get it. I'm not kind of that 
gardening, outdoorsy type of guy. Yeah, never grab it by the stem. You almost grabbed it by the stem. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I'm more into, you know, selling cars and dealing with high clientele. Oh, God. Right? No. Oh. <laughs> my girls were doing it, so I couldn't just sit back and, and let them have all the fun. If you pull it straight out like this, it would kill the plant. All right. You, so, kill you, the plant. you guys are something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our hand over like this and kind of flip over the plant. Oh, Look at how cute it is. That is awesome. Yeah, you got it. All right. Bell pepper. What are these little white things? Roots. OK, put it in there. Hurry. Okay, there we go. Hey. Cabbage. The cabbage. Oh my god, this is parsley. They all look the same. I have a buffet of vegetables, planting the plants. It's good practice, and definitely having something like that in the backyard would be fun. I'm not sure how long it'll last for us, but it's certainly a, a nice project. All right, girls, great job. Mission accomplished.